Alexander, um, it's your first main event in the UFC. Uh, how did your training camp go? Uh, my training camp was very good. Uh, we, it was about uh, three months uh, of, the, of the training, so we have uh, all the steps in, uh, in our camp. Uh, everything was perfect. It was very hard camp, so I'm ready for 100 percent. You uh, flew uh, K1 legend Semi Schild uh, in. Um, did you train on something specific, or was it just the length? Uh, the most specific uh, Semi scheme that was that he very tall and and uh, Semi Schild, the one of the guy who ha can really like punch me <laughs> all, <laughs> all the practice. Uh, so it was. Difficult to sparring with him, but he also a very good coach, and he helped me a lot with uh, preparation, with some techniques, with some nuance uh, about uh, uh, high people, so uh, tall people. So it uh, was very, very good experience for me. You just had to stare down, or normally uh, you can look down to your opponent. Opponent, this time you had to look up. Does it have any effect on your training cap at all? Yeah, it was very unusual to to, to look like uh, down to up, but. Uh, the main thing what we change in training is that, uh, fi fi uh, find finding the high tall opponent, uh, opponents uh, to, to, to practice, to sparring, so nothing really a lot specific, uh, but we just ch change techniques to, to sparring with tall guys. Um, you're the former Bellator champ, a former M1 champ, uh, now you're uh, you're making your way into the UFC uh, with the two uh, two wins in a row. Um, what's the difference between fighting for the UFC and fighting, for example, like Bellator or M1 Challenge? Uh, really, it's big differ difference. Uh, the main difference, maybe in my thinking, that I understand that uh, for me, like uh, UFC is like last step in, in my car uh, career. The, the, the place where I uh, want to stay uh, uh, to the time. When I stop fights, uh, I mean, uh, I start with the M1. When I be, 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 uh, go, go to Bellator, is what next step. And now I mean, you, you see the high of the MMA uh, promotion. So uh, I were excited of this, and like uh, in every uh, promotion before, I take belts. I won't take belts in UFC also. So it will be very good collections uh, in my room. <laughs> Um, it's uh, you're fighting in Holland against the Dutch uh, Dutch guy, uh, so it will be hostile territory. Do you think it will affect you in any way? I think it will great because people are going to, to look his fight, going for him, he will uh, <laughs> support him, and uh, he will <coughs> will uh, know me, recognize me very fast. I mean. Uh, all people who support him will know me very quick uh, here in Rotterdam, and also uh, uh, this makes, makes uh, uh, that we fight in main, main event, not like a regular fight. So it's uh, all the conditions makes very good for our fights. Yes, <laughs> yes. thank you. And uh, last question. Um, uh, it's a five-round fight, of course. It's a main event, heavyweights, uh, a heavyweight main event. Um, how do you think this fight will end? It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm feeling like I can beat him all five rounds, so I have enough for power and, and uh, condition to this. Uh, probably, how I usually I open also in, in middle of fights. Uh, so I'm feeling that I, my, my best will be in second, third round. Uh, and in this round also I can uh, clock him out. Okay, thank you Alexander and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.